Sometimes I have to take a moment to look around and go, holy cow, how did we get here? It's been a long journey, it's been rewarding. You know, the problems don't go away, they just become more interesting. But for the most part, for this maple syrup wonderland, and I get up every day excited to go to work. I am Nate Bissell. I am a chief instigator and owner of Bissell Maple Farm. Growing up, Dad always made syrup. I did not know it was in my family's history. Then I found some old photos, and my family's been making maple syrup for over 100 years in Ohio, and that even gave me the maple syrup bug even more. These are actually pictures from the 1800s. It would be my great-grandfather and great-great-grandfather make maple syrup here in uh, Northeast Ohio. The only reason I sell maple syrup is so I get to make more maple syrup. So I'm gonna to try to explain this from tree to table. There's a lot of preparation even before you tap a tree. So you wanna be prepared for the first sap run. So you need all of your tubing fixed, making sure everything's tight and drawn tight and is sloping the right way. And then they go out and tap the trees. We're going out there and we're looking for trees that will produce sap. We're drilling a 5 16 hole. This year we're at 9,600 taps. So it probably comes down to about 8,900 trees. Could I do like 100 a day? These guys do like 600 a day. We want to tap well before the first thaw of the spring. Uh, we actually tap trees in January. There, it doesn't hurt to tap early. Uh, it's better to catch the first sap run than the last sap run. Because this is the first run. And usually by now we've made syrup. If you think of the tree as your home, you have a little spout, which would be the driveway, and then from the spout you have a drop. That would be like your street. From the drop it goes to your road, uh, which is the lateral. From your lateral it goes to the main line, which is like a highway, and then from the main line it goes to a wet dry line, which is like a super highway. So that little droplet of sap travels all down, I think we have 35 miles of tubing and all the land that we manage and that little droplet goes all the way down and gets collected in the tank, and that's where the vacuum and the sap part weighs. That sap is then pumped to larger collection tanks, and we'll collect sap with a tanker. Then we'll haul that sap to our facility here in Jefferson. They pump the sap through a flow meter so we know how much sap we've collected. From there, it will go into large collection tanks. So I think we have 30,000 gallons of sap storage at this facility and we will process that sap into two things. So raw sap will go into a reverse osmosis. Pure water is our rejected product, and all of the sugar that doesn't make it through the filter, that becomes the concentrated sap that we boil. So the boiling process is where the flavor's made. That is the most exciting part, and we're making caramel. So maple sugar is about caramel, and people will talk about the different flavors, and it's this simple. The lighter the maple syrup color, the more delicate the maple flavor. The darker the maple syrup color, the stronger the maple flavor. But in essence, we're selling caramelized maple sugar, and it's all preference. The skill of the farmer, the type of equipment, the soil your trees are in, the type of weather you have will all basically make an impact on the flavor of syrup you will make in any given year. I want to have that experience with my family. That's why I do this. And it brings everybody together for a common goal. This is hard. This is not an easy thing. And I'm talking about the maple syrup business. But when you do it with family and you do it as a team and you're, you're trying to accomplish a common goal, that's really rewarding. WVIZ Idea Stream receives support from PNC Bank, which has made a home in the heart of Cleveland by investing in businesses, communities, and people. Focusing on giving back is part of an ongoing commitment to the communities that PNC serves. PNC Bank, National Association, Member FDIC.